lease, where are we going to go? I have also renewed my lease until next year of 2023. And now they're telling me, like, I don't even have that, you know? Like, I, that was so much more time, obviously, to, like, be able to find a place to live. And they're just, like, all throwing us out to the side. 30 days to move out. People living at an apartment complex near U of L are scrambling after getting that notice. WDRB's Dakota Sherrick reveals who is stepping in now to help out these tenants. There's a lot of unusual things that happen in eviction court. I think one about this was just how egregious um, the conduct of the landlord is. People living at the Bellamy got an email last week that the complex was closing for renovations and they'd have to move out by July 26th. Some had signed renewals or leases dated into 2023. To do that with active contracts, active leases, active renewals, somebody that moved here three and a half weeks ago, um, yeah, that's pretty egregious. Legal Aid Society attorney Danny Matlock is taking on Bellamy tenant cases, representing about a handful of clients so far. He says some of them signed new leases and moved in a few weeks ago and are now being told to vacate. These kids moved, had their parents drop them off. They go to U of L. They walk. The Bellamy is apparently furnished. Um, you know, they, they have nowhere to go. Caliber Living, the company that owns the Bellamy, told WDRB anyone with a lease date after July 26 has been contacted directly, and the company is working with them to find other housing options, adding they are canceling all new leases that have not taken effect for the well-being of tenants as they plan to shut down the property to renovate. Caliber Living also told WDRB it anticipated less than 10% of its 640 beds would be occupied at the beginning of fall. Whether it's one or it's 190. Um, legally, they've planned to stay there. They have detrimentally relied on the contract that they've signed, whether it be a, a, a lease renewal or a new contract three weeks ago, um, has to be treated all the same. Matlock says in Kentucky, legal evictions can happen when there's non-payment of rent, if a tenant breaches certain clauses of their lease, or if the lease date has ended. He says in his experience, renovation is not considered reason enough for lawful eviction, and there's no special clause in the Bellamy leases to indicate otherwise. Everything that I've read, there's been nothing that says you can do this. And even if there was, if it is contradictory to what the law is in this state, you can't contract to do that anyways. The Legal Aid Society is willing to help income eligible Bellamy tenants for free, and Matlock hopes people living there take them up on this offer. We're here to help. We want to help. We certainly want to um, make everybody less anxious over there at the Bellamy um, as in terms of tenants because they, sh they shouldn't be going through this. In Louisville, Dakota Sherrick, WDRB News. If you are living at the Bellamy and would like to connect with the Legal Aid Society, we've got that contact information for you on our website, WDRB.com.